Yes, people, myself, TS. Welcome back to another No Filter TS. And in this one, just talking about Amari Hutchinson. And yeah, you know, all the reports, um, even Fabrizio has come out and stated that more or less done deal. You know, he's going to sign for Chelsea. And, you know, it's definitely disappointing to see. Um, you know, this is a, a younger player. Um, with a lot of potential, I actually saw him play in person when Arsenal um, played Chelsea at the Emirates back in January. And, you know, from then I was like, oh, yeah, this is a guy, surely, you know, he must be knocking on the doors of the first team. Those are the times when Aubameyang's gone. Our, our attacking options was literally, you know, Martinelli, Saka, Smith-Rowe, um, Enketia, Lacazette, Pepe. And, you know, nothing, not much is happening. You're thinking maybe, you know, in certain games, you bring my man off the, off the bench for 20 minutes, you know, he might be able to create some sort of impact. And, you know, was on the bench for most of the second half of last season, didn't get no minutes whatsoever. And then now to not be part of the the pre-season tour, but, you know, apparently the talks is that um, Arsenal struggled in terms of a, a new contract. So, you know, um, I wish Amari Hutchinson all the best. I just think... I think for a lot of Arsenal fans as well, I think the move just seems weird because it's like you're going to Chelsea. If your main issue is about progression into the first team, um, you know, I think most would agree you're more likely first team opportunities at Arsenal than you are at Chelsea. But maybe it's the fact of, you know, it's more so about, you, you know, at Chelsea, they're, they're, they'll send about 50 men on loan and, you know, you'll get exposed to first team football um, that way. So, you know, it's a shame, you know, a, a prospect that, you know, I think many were expecting him to be the next one to step up um, into into the first team and do his thing. But we'll just have to wait and see how his career goes, you know. Um, there's a lot of players that at the time they leave the club, you know, were disappointed. And then, um, you know, over time you look at how their careers panned out and, you know, you start to look back and, and wonder whether or not, um, you look back and, and basically decide w whether or not it was a bad decision to let that player go. Now, you know, um, I'm currently doing a series at the moment where, where, you know, I'm talking about players that's left the club and seeing where they're at now um, compared to what the time they left the club. You know, players, I've already spoke on someone like Chris Willock. You know, at the time, I remember a lot of fans being disappointed saying he's an up-and-coming prospect. Right now, I don't think there's anyone that will take him at the club. You know, obviously, at the same time, you've got someone like Gnabry, who at the time he, he left, people were kind of like, oh, OK, well, you know, hasn't really, hasn't really cut it. Now he is, you know, a, a top quality winger and, you know, just signed a new deal at Bayern. Um, so that that that's how it goes, isn't it? So, you know, we'll, only time will tell um, how things pan out for Amari Hutchinson. Um, but, you know, I think for some people, they'll say this is not looking as great for the whole, you know, project youth. But it is what it is. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button now and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.